Adam22 is the host of the popular No Jumper podcast, as well as the owner of the YouTube channel No Jumper, which is actually the home to a number of shows, some of which he appears on, some of which he doesn't. The channel has got more than 10 million views in the last 30 days, which is quite a bit of money when translated into Google AdSense dollars, especially considering those views are mostly on long podcasts, which can be like one to three hours long, so the No Jumper machine is generating quite a bit of revenue. On top of that, he also runs the Plug Talk podcast, which is a show on OnlyFans. It's basically this podcast where they bring adult film stars on and talk to them about their their gross weird lifestyle where they get covered in fluids of all manner. The Twitter account alone for that show has like 250,000 followers or something like that, so I would guess they're making a pretty good amount of money. Adam himself is kind of a psychotic money-making machine doing like multiple podcasts a day, doing this OnlyFans podcast, also doing other OnlyFans content. I mean, the guy is on his grind set, okay? Now, too long ago, I actually talked about Adam on my channel after allegations were made that he slept with a 16-year-old when he was in his 20s. They were brought to the forefront by a guy who calls himself an amateur creep catcher who went on the No Jumper podcast, and then he, without telling Adam or telling Flacco or anyone else on the show, he started an Instagram live and called Adam out on the show, basically calling him a predator. The origin of this story itself was a blog post Adam made a long time ago where he described a relationship with said girl. We, we talking about the whole lust situation and everything, but... I'll be a hypocrite if I don't address the situation that happened with you. There is no situation with me. Now, any of the math inclined out there are probably reading this and thinking something like, she's 19 now, you were 23 then, how old was she then? Well, she was 16, but come on, man, look at her. She's 18 or 19 in most of the pics here, but she didn't look much different at all back then. If statutory is wrong, I don't want to be right. Bruh. Now, I could make the argument that the age of consent is 16 in Canada, although I'm sure traveling from America to Canada to have sex with a minor is still illegal as hell, but really, an argument, she was stupid hot and I wanted in. Uh, now, this got a ton of attention online, but given there's no police involvement and Adam currently denies that it happened and instead claims that people are misinterpreting his blog post from back in the day, and that she was actually 19 years old when they slept together, it kind of just became dead in the water. Adam continued posting his podcast and doing his content. Meanwhile, his accusers and critics kind of faded into obscurity. But that doesn't mean they went away. Thanks to those allegations going mainstream, there's now an audience of people waiting to make fun of and mock Adam at any given opportunity, right? They're basically sitting, just being like, okay, when's the next time we can, you know, quote tweet Adam on Twitter or find something viral to make fun of him with? And I'm not necessarily saying those people are wrong for doing that, but they are definitely doing it. And most recently, he gave them a reason to make fun of him on a a silver platter. Something I'm neglected to mention up until this point is that Adam's co-host on his OF show, and the reason it has his name, is his wife, Lena. Lena the Plug. She's also an adult film star, but as of the time they got together, they had a close relationship in terms of guys. They would do threesomes on camera, I believe. I, I think they even did one with Trisha Paytas, or maybe that was a solo with, with just Adam and Trisha. I don't know. Either way, I unfortunately got that spammed in my Twitter replies and had to see how disgusting it was. But regardless, they did threesomes, but only with other girls, okay? No, no guys, guys allowed. Well, back in May, they ended up getting married in Italy. And you know, good for them. It was nice to see that they got together, even though they have an unconventional marriage. You know, these days, a lot of e-celebs like Destiny have different kinds of relationships where he and his wife see other people, Sneeko included. Only fans and Fansly are really making everyone more positive. So, so who am I to judge, right? People are going to do what they want with their relationships. End of the day, nothing I say is really going to change how they act. So there's no point in really like ragging on them too much for it. Well, Twitter and Reddit and everyone are not in agreement with that. They're, uh, they're judging Adam a lot right now because of this clip that his wife posted titled, It Finally Happened, with a nervous red face emoji with a water droplet just to show how nervous and, and bashful she is. And then she adds a guy called uh, Jason Love. It says, dropping 713, mark your calendars. Well, what is it that finally happened? What is, what is coming out? guys. What's going to be released here? What is Lena the plug so excited for? Let's watch this video and maybe it'll give us a little more insight as to what's actually going on. Hey guys, guess what I'm shooting with today? <laughs> it's oh my god. Oh, oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? Bro. <laughs> No, 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 no. You have to be trolling. You have to be kidding. You have to be kecking me. This is bad. This is really <laughs> bad. And she even made this her pinned tweet. Now you would expect the replies from her audience and Adam's fans to just be like, you know, encouraging this behavior because they do a lot of adult content anyway. It's not exactly a secret that they do videos together. I mean, it's all over Lena's Twitter. So um, it's not surprising, right? But no, this tweet actually ended up leaving his target audience and is uh, it's filled with people calling Adam a cuck. And with this being the talk of the town, someone on Adam's show decided to ask him why he let this happen, why he let his wife finally do it, and his answer was basically, Well, look, guys, she's just built for it. So I've been with my girl for mm -hmm. seven years. We just got married. Mm -hmm. We're not in an open relationship, but from a 
porn perspective, we shoot with other girls, stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But no other guys is busting her you know? Well, you guessed it. Over the weekend. Oh, no. Something like that happened. She filmed her first ever scene with another man. I know oh, you was mad. Shit. You I was mean, angry. I, I agreed to it, so I wasn't. But, I, would, but, I say but, angry but, might not be the word. But you was kind of like disappointed a little bit. Like, you <sighs> five like cut, like cut. That's your sitch. You know, I agreed to it. She gave me a lot of outs on the way in. Like, yeah. she kind of kept telling me, like, if you don't want me to, I won't do it. You, you should know? have said no. I, I, I said that I wanted you her to do it. I'm like, on top of millions of dollars, Adam. You didn't have to do that. Shit. Fair enough, but I, I told on, her uh, I'm like I think you should do it. Let's let's get it out right, the way. So how, how do you five about it now? She's 32. Do I need to get you an old English? No, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't need to drown the pain in, in the old English. Uh, but I was kind of surprised because I feel like I can like intellectualize it, and from my perspective, I don't think it should be a big deal. Yeah. But then after she actually did it, I'm not going to lie, I did feel kind of odd. You oh, know, maybe get, a little bit of that feeling in, in the belly, See, you know? You know? Been with her for seven years, bro. I, I can't imagine doing something like this. I like some of Adam's podcasts. You'd probably call me a fan of, of the channel No Jumper. The same goes for people like Destiny. But as far as their relationships go, I've always had a hard time wrapping my head around the fact that they function as normal people while the woman they love is having intercourse with other men. Like, I thought the whole point of a relationship was that, that exclusivity, right? That bond. It's like, you know, you like this one person enough that you decide to be just with them. That's the point of it, right? And then these dudes kind of break that standard and redefine a relationship's entire meaning by being with someone who also sleeps with other people. And they sleep with other people too. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think I could do that. I know sometimes relationships are complicated and cheating happens, uh, but having it like baked into the cake where both of you are planning the entire time to do this just really weirds me out, bro. It does. And apparently it weirds out a lot of others as well, given the facts that all of Twitter is absolutely roasting Adam right now. Adam22 make enough money for his wife to retire, by the way. She just enjoys getting detonated. Is the word, wait, is it detonated? Is it really detonated? She just enjoys getting detonated by other guys too much to stop. On the original tweet announcing their marriage, even Leafy replied to it asking for a turn with Lena. This really is reminiscent of the infamous like Mel time clip, which went pretty viral a month or so ago and basically shows like, you know, Destiny and his wife Melina are hanging out. And then this guy Abba from the Abba and Preach channel comes up and like wants to dance with her and Destiny's like, uh oh, Mel, Mel time. <laughs> and it just, uh, well, you can imagine how that one was memed, right? No. <laughs> what, 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 no, we're gonna Uh-oh. Mel time. Mel time. It's it's okay. it's Mel time. Oh, so you got the four. Okay. So we're just doing salsa. We're just going. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then there have been other clips as well of Melina where she references this and just, you know, I get that they're together and have an open relationship and are comfortable with themselves or whatever. But sometimes when I see these interactions, it comes across to me like she's playing into it and trying to embarrass Destiny. Like offering Mel time to some dude who comes to speak to her during a live event and like getting all flirty with him, right? It's me. You call me Destiny's wife, bro. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't yeah, know your name. You. I don't yeah. have his name here. Yeah. But, um. Mel, Mel time. You what? want Mel time? What's your name? Melina. Melina. Mel. Okay. Yeah, Mel. Mel time. No, I don't want Mel. I'm Melina. You want Mel time. No, no. Well, you ask me a question, so you get Mel time. Like that's this is not a good look. Like even if you're comfortable with a relationship enough to show that off publicly, I feel like it's it's kind of humiliating to him. I don't know, bro. This just seems like a bit too far in my opinion. Even if you are in an open relationship, why go out of your way to produce clips that are obviously going to be reposted and go viral with the sole purpose of mocking you and your significant other? You know what I mean? I feel like if you have something weird about you, uh, let's say you're a furry, let's say you are you know strange in some other way. That could do your fentanyl. <laughs> let's say you. Have an open relationship i feel like you have an obligation to yourself and to others who are kind of a part of that group right i mean i guess you don't literally have an obligation but i probably would behave this way i feel like you have an obligation and a need to produce the least clippable cringy moments related to that identity that you can um or else when those get posted all over the internet it completely invalidates your identity right a lot of people are going to just mock you for it and that sucks i feel like they should be trying to produce the least amount of clips like this possible because a lot of people when they find out who destiny is if they find out he has an open relationship maybe it doesn't bother them that much but if they see clips like this <laughs> He just comes across as a clown to them. You know what I mean? There really is no benefit to having people mock you for stuff like this. Then again, maybe people like uh, people like Adam and Lena uh, get off in the humiliation. That could be another part of it, right? I'm not in their heads, so there's no way to truly know their intentions, but maybe they like people making fun of them for this stuff. But yeah, it just seems like a rough spot to be in. And the way they talk about it publicly is really not helping the situation at all. People are also comparing Adam to Sneeko now, given what happened. Like with this clip titled, Sneeko watching Adam 22 do the same sh he did. He copied my whole flow! Oh. Word 
Word for word, bar for bar. Adam 22's wife was begging him to grow a pair and tell her she's not gonna go another man. She said she asked him, are you sure? Like three times. And that podcast clip I showed earlier is actually not the only time Adam talked about this. He even talked about it in a separate clip where he like announced that it was coming, which has been reposted to the No Jumper clip channel. Aptly titled, Adam reveals that Lena did a BBC scene. And uh, the No Jumper channel, the No Jumper official clips channel named this clip. Did you have to put BBC? Couldn't you have just done like, she filmed a new kind of porn. She filmed a new kind of adult video. Did you have to put BBC in the title, bro? Come on. This is what I'm saying they're trying to humiliate themselves and in this video he basically says that the reason he did it is because he felt his wife's adult video career or whatever was being held back by the fact she only did videos with him whereas if she did a video with other dudes it would fulfill a lot of other people's fantasies because i guess that like a lot of people have been asking for her to do a video with someone that isn't isn't adam that's supposedly been the most highly requested thing on her pages or whatever the reality is is that her career has been you know helped by me for sure but also held back by me to a certain extent because of the fact that we would only shoot together and take a man to realize that the yeah, number one real. thing that she gets asked that she gets requested whatever is they want to see her shoot with another guy this is how you know adam is i mean i mean like i said like a psychotic money making machine and the same goes for lena i just feel like we got enough money we don't got to do all this crazy shit. there's a lot of girls who like that uh -huh. amount of money would change things for them i already know how much money this rich got in the bank she don't got to do all that I'll spend. Nice I'll, I'll buy you a nice, <laughs> uh, a better Christmas present, so that you don't have to take me black this year. <laughs> oh my gosh! But what if it was a white? You seem so intimidated by the black. Yeah. I don't care if it, what color. I was just saying black because that's what he's talking Say about. Say it again, man. <laughs> Say what? Well, what flavor are you into? I, I don't only into one flavor, baby. Uh, he would allow his wife to have her back blown out by another man on video at the expense of his own personal dignity and respect and reputation at the expense of thousands of people making fun of him every single day for the rest of time. This will not go away. People will make fun of him for this forever, okay? People will bring it up on his show. And the only reason why is because it would make him more money, which is insane to me because it's not like he's strapped for cash. The dude is freaking loaded. He does not need more money. Both of them collectively are multi-millionaires, undoubtedly. She doesn't even need money. She makes a ton of money. But despite that, this is something they decided on together as a couple, that the best way forward to make more money was to unseal their relationship and have her shoot a video with another guy. You know, we've kind of had the conversation over the years and, and I started to come to this realization that the reason why I didn't want her to do it was not because of my own personal jealousy or anything like that. It was really just the fact that I didn't want to be the guy who got roasted on the internet that week. You know, I didn't want to be the one that everybody yeah, was making videos back. about whatever. And I slowly started to feel like that's kind of a stupid reason for me to hold her back from doing something that would realistically be very, very good for her career you know i mean here he even knows people are gonna make fun of him and he says that's a bad reason to hold her back i mean i mean i guess that makes sense but at the same time no it doesn't make sense yeah having your marriage invalidated and mocked online forever is a bad thing and it's probably not worth whatever money you would make on that video like is it 10 million dollars you're making no it's probably like i don't know 20 30 000, which is like good but it's like it's not that insane you know what i mean and he's like oh well i know the guy i trust him like dude it's not really a factor here like does it really matter does it make it better that you like you shook his hand and like had a beer with him i mean i guess it's it's good you know him you've met him you shook his hand uh because now you know that you've stared into the eyes of the dude who banged your wife on camera okay every time you see him you're not gonna like see him as like a normal dude you're gonna imagine the guy who your wife which is you know obviously like a natural human response like that's that's what you're gonna see right you're gonna feel insecure about that but you willingly allowed that to happen and then like tried to justify it on a podcast bro i really don't understand this at all <clears throat> i look at it like this man you understand and i'm just gonna be transparent both of y'all time's ticking you only got so much time in this industry. The star industry is like a good haircut. You could be here today looking good, gone tomorrow, and it's just over. Mm. You know what I mean? So I feel like do it and capitalize off it now while you have the chance to capitalize on it. And don't wait until shit starts to fall at an all-time low to say, okay, we'll finally do it. Mm. You got to hit it while it's high. Adam, your time is ticking. The clock is running out, okay? You need your wife to film herself with other guys now. You need her to sleep with other men on video right now, bro, okay? Everybody, listen. I know you guys have been asking me, guys, how do, Tom, how do I get my money up, okay? How do I make more money? How do I get to that next level of wealth, okay? How do I, you know, become successful? How do I become a successful entertainer? Well, I'm here to tell you guys that the new method, the newest method is to have your wife film herself sleeping with another man and post that online, okay? I know you guys are gonna think, you know, maybe it's not gonna work out. You're like, oh, maybe, you know, I'm not as famous as Adam22. My wife isn't Lena the Plug. She's not a famous adult video 
star. Why would that work out? But guys, listen, I'm telling you, this is the only way forward. So um, just hit up your wife, hit up your girlfriend. I want you guys, I want you to connect her with the tallest black man you can find and um, get them together and get that going, okay? Get that going, get that on video. I want you to edit it yourself so you have to live through the pain of watching that happen. And um, you know, no matter what she says, she might be like, oh, but I like you. I don't want to cheat on you. Like I, I only like you. I don't want to be with other guys. You need to convince her. You need to, you, you really need to convince her and break down the arguments um, systematically, logically, heuristically on why she needs to cheat on you with another guy, okay? I'm just saying, that's the way to the top. That's what it takes these days. I know you guys are going to be on that real soon. Be sure to send all videos to turkeytombusiness at yahoo.com. Just, I'm actually kidding. Don't do that. Please don't do that. I, I regret saying that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, please. But that's part of yeah, it too, is that about. we already know that we're going to probably have like another couple kids and that this is just kind of like her exactly. doing what she can to make her OnlyFans go fucking crazy yeah. in the meantime, in the lead up to her basically exiting the game in a couple of years, yeah. you know? Okay, and this highlights, I think, the most selfish thing about all of this, honestly. Like, if it was just Adam and Lena doing this, whatever, bro. Do what you want. People can make fun of it. But at the end of the day, like, you're both cool with it, right? Nothing I say really, really matters. But they have a kid and they want to have more kids? Your kids are going to grow up knowing that their mom has slept with other dudes that are not their dad. That is emasculating, okay? It makes them lose respect for their father. And on top of that, the other kids at school are going to know about it because you know they're because they know that you know your dad's adam 22 and they're gonna watch the video they're gonna show your child their mom getting banged on camera by another guy and laugh at it and mock her it's gonna happen in school it's gonna happen in the locker room they will be humiliated like this is so embarrassing for a child man i'm pretty young so you know i'm a bit off from having kids i'm only 20 maybe i'm not in the position to give this advice completely um but i think this is just like a common sense kind of kind of opinion as far as the kids go right you don't want to do something that will objectively like set them up to be humiliated in school right you don't want your family Family, structure your family as a whole to be invalidated and doing something like this just makes it completely open to mockery in the future and it seems like a horrible decision you know and when i told her i said i, I got three rules don't kiss the motherfucker mm, period don't yeah. let him know on your face oh yeah no money shit and i don't want to feel like i have to be cool with you doing it over and over and over after this i'm like if if we if i can't handle it I don't, and it's going to be a one and done then I want to have the right to kind of like make that what call. What if this like makes a crazy bag? It will. It is weird that this is a trend with e-celebs in general as of late. I mean, Adam, Destiny, Sneeko. I'm sure there are a few other examples as well that you guys know of, of creators who have like an open relationship or go to like parties like this, go to like parties or, or swinger parties or whatever like Sneeko did. What happened to just normal dating, you know? Remember when there was like cheating scandals? Those are probably not going to happen anymore because um everyone knows that everyone's doing it because it literally is the content itself and everyone like justifies this kind of relationship on streams everywhere. It's a wild world we live in. With that being said, the question we have to really ask here and the question I like to ask in, in any of these scenarios where there's a controversy or someone's being roasted, okay, where someone's being made fun of, the question I have to ask is how will this actually affect their career? Well, given the facts that 100,000 people calling Adam a file on Twitter didn't seem to put a big dent in anything. I would say he'll be just fine. People already know he and his wife do adult video stuff. They know they have the Plug Talk podcast. It's not a secret. So while this is another step in the direction for Adam and it will cause him to be made fun of, his core audience does not seem to really care anyway, and they just want to see him make his podcast. A lot of them probably even like that he did this because they're the type of people to watch his adult content anyway. They're subscribed to the OnlyFans for Plug Talk, so there's really no chance that this will hurt his bottom line in almost any way. As for his reputation, like, yeah, this is taking a bit of a hit, and I feel like Adam has lost a level of respect and clout that he once had. Even if he can pull numbers, he's kind of just seen as a laughing stock to a lot of people online today, especially in the communities he used to make a ton of money off of, like hip-hop or or, or BMX maybe, but really hip hop, really the rap community, they're roasting him all the time because he's he's consistently giving them like little nuggets for them to be like, oh, here's another thing I can pull out of my ass anytime I want to criticize Adam or make fun of him, right? And this is, you know, a, a pretty wild one considering the fact that they have a picture of like his wife with the guy. Eventually they're going to have videos of, of, of them actually having intercourse and they have videos of Adam justifying it. I mean, it's kind of the trifecta of the worst possible thing they could, you know, have to make fun of him with. But I would suspect that this is not even close to the last time we're going to hear from Adam. Anyway, that about wraps up this video. If you guys liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike and drop a comment down below with your thoughts. It's always good to hear what you guys have to say about these situations. I have a feeling you guys are going to have a uh, quite a bit to say about this one follow my instagram tom but dark and i'll see you all in the next video tomorrow um yeah tomorrow bye